All right, so now we know President Trump and uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin have just wrapped up their meeting in Helsinki, Finland, and it was it is their very first summit. Yeah, the two men spoke briefly with reporters before going behind closed doors, and CBS News' Carl Finstrom is here with more on their meeting. They were in that meeting for more than two hours. Initially, we've been told budgeted between a half hour and possibly yeah. an hour, so it really did stretch on. We want to get right to some video that has come in uh, that shows the two now at a dinner together. You can see them seated there with a bunch of diplomats. Uh, we did hear from both of the presidents very briefly before they went into that private session. Uh, questions were actually shouted at President Trump about whether he would warn Putin about meddling in future elections. He ignored them. It was a very brief, cordial uh, session. And here's part of that exchange. We have not been getting along very well for the last number of years. I've been here not too long, but it's getting close to two years. But I think we will end up having an extraordinary relationship. The president also congratulated Putin at the time on the World Cup held in Russia. This is historic. U.S. presidents have met with Russian leaders before, but today marks the first time a U.S. president has spent time alone with one. Again, uh, we just learned that they came out about two hours after sitting down together. We also understand that they uh, had an expanded meeting with some top advisors. Now, the big question out of all of this is exactly what will come from this summit? Trump administration officials say there is no set agenda, but the president was expected to talk about the investigation into Russian meddling during the last election. On Friday, 12 more Russians were indicted for election interference. Russia's hostile actions in Ukraine and Syria also were expected to come up. Some diplomats have voiced concerns about that one-on-one. -on -one. In light of Russia's recent history, they've raised worries about President Trump's friendliness and ability to remain tough, pointing also to his latest tweet, which blamed sour U.S.-Russia relations on what he called U.S. foolishness, including that, uh, in, that uh, investigation into election interference. So again, uh, coming back here live, this uh, has wrapped up at least the private part of the meeting, and also we believe that kind of expanded session with the diplomats. We were told there will be some type of a press conference, so we're waiting for that to see uh, if, what they can tell us about that meeting.